This tutorial details the Import Manager, which is available in all three documentation screens, RCT, Full Editor, and the Superbill. The proper use of this feature is imperative when using the Electronic Health Records feature of the system. It allows the practitioner to use past documentation, including both the SOAP note and billing and coding information, as a template for the current encounter. You will recall from the process tutorial that is located in the Getting Started tutorial set, one of the two primary process considerations when managing a patient through the office is, is this patient coming in with a new episode? Basically, is this a new patient? Or an existing patient with a new problem or insurance company? You will handle new episodes differently than existing ones. If this is a brand new patient, you will not use the Import Manager feature. For an existing patient, a patient that is coming in for a follow-on treatment with an existing episode, the front desk checks the patient in, and then they go to the patient care tab. The front desk staff will drag and drop the patient to start the encounter for the practitioner. Notice that the open episode is automatically displayed because we are seeing this patient for the same episode that we did the last time they were at the office. If we just saw this patient two days ago, what really changed? Shouldn't we be able to use the last date of service as a template? The staff will select the import manager, go to the last date of service for a typical visit, or to the last evaluation for a re-eval. Select the date of service you wish to import, and import selected. You will notice a duplicate documentation detector appear, only if some of your data lines are too similar or exact duplicates. As can be seen in this example where pain on the cervical vertebrae was accidentally documented twice during the last encounter. This feature allows you to choose which data line you would like to keep by using radial buttons. Select the appropriate data line and upon selecting the Resolve Duplicates button only the selected data will be brought forward to be used as a template. You should only see the Resolve Duplicates detector functionality rarely. Notice that the past selected documentation is effectively a template for today's documentation. The staff then selects the Save and Exit button at the bottom of the screen. And just as for any patient, the signal to the practitioner that the staff is done preparing their documentation is to drag and drop the patient into a treatment room. The practitioner then opens the encounter by re-dropping the patient into the box or select them from the Open Encounters work list, if they prefer. It doesn't matter. Since the staff has already done the setup work for the practitioner, the practitioner can quickly use the last date of service as a template. They can simply adjust any of the data all from the same screen. After determining if they want to put this date of service on the Open Encounters work list, they simply send to billing for claim and or invoice creation, or save and exit to finish the documentation later before sending the billing. The practitioner will then signal the staff that they are done by dropping them back into the waiting room. The staff checks them out as usual. You will recall from the earlier The Process tutorial in the Getting Started tutorial section, if practices are not using the Electronic Health Records functionality and your practitioners are using paper documentation and using a paper super bill or routing slip to communicate your coding to the biller, the process is a little different. You will also use this different process for practices that are new to the system and need to submit some older pre-Red Pine claims through your new system. Follow the paper process tutorial as described. When you start the encounter in the super bill, assuming this patient is an existing patient, one you have seen before, the episode will be attached automatically. You only need to add the episode if this is a new patient or new episode. Since this patient has already been in before, use the Import Manager to use a past super bill as a template to copy the past diagnosis codes and procedure codes for use on today's claim, just as we did earlier when using past documentation forward as a template. Notice that the past codes are effectively a template for today's date of service. Make any changes necessary based on the paper routing slip for today. And the staff can determine if they are done coding, and if they want to have this date of service show up on a work list. 
and submit the date of service to billing for claim or invoice creation.